Good morning, everybody. I hope you're having a wonderful day. It's a beautiful day here in the little town of Pensacola. And if you've been following this channel for a while, you'll know and you'll have seen our adventures from camping to fishing to... It's Camp Marley all set up. To house renovations, to real estate. And as your local sponsor to everything that is Pensacola, that's what I like to call myself because I do it all here on this YouTube channel and as a real estate agent, you should know the best fine restaurants here in Pensacola. See, I had to do a lot of reconnaissance to, uh, to make this list up. And if you watched my last video about the top hidden gem restaurants in Pensacola, I wanted to make this one because maybe somebody out there wants to go to a nice restaurant downtown and you just moved here or you haven't ever tried these. And I wanted to make this list. So in this video, I wanna talk about those things uh, my, my opinion, my thoughts, I want to put them all in one spot where maybe if you're headed downtown and it's a nice Christmas night or it's a holiday and you want to try one of these restaurants that you'll have a little idea of what to expect starting from the top. Okay, so the first one I want to talk about is Benelli's. Benelli's is a great Italian restaurant on 9th Avenue close to downtown. I guess we could qualify it as downtown. It is uh it, it, it's divided up into like two sides. You got an outside dining area and you have like the kitchen portion area. They purchased a uh, house in the back, which they turned into like a really cool, uh, fine dining environment. The back room is kind of one of my favorites because you can kind of go back there and be secluded. Uh, you know, they got the Sinatra atmosphere with the old movies playing on the television. And then they have a little quiet, like private, wine slash bar in the back um you know it's kind of one that you make a reservation for if you want to sit outside or not i like to be in the back area we've done this on a lot of occasions me and samantha's anniversary we did there uh sometimes our friends birthday parties we want to have like a quiet secluded night we'll go there and get in like the back room the sauces are amazing uh, everything you get there is amazing um you know, you can get a spicier sauce, you can get a not so spicy sauce. Um, it is just a great restaurant um, and it, and it's one of my, my top picks if we're going out. There's also Angelina's, which is an Italian restaurant downtown. And it's actually downtown, downtown. It's like right by uh, Palafox Street. It's just one over. Um, and w let me tell you, one of my favorite, favorite things there, and y'all are gonna call me a pizza person because I talked about pizza in the last video, but they have this shrimp pizza. Wow, that looks good. Baby Jack's gonna like it. <laughs> I think it's called like the Little Scamp. I get it every time I go there, and, and I love pasta, but I get this one every time I go there. I get a glass of wine, and I get this shrimp pizza. And it's pretty amazing, y'all. It's it's pretty amazing. I mean, I think probably three of the last four times I've gone there, I've gotten this pizza, glass of wine, sit at the bar, don't really have to wait for a res reservation. But it's also a great place to get a reservation, clean, professional, everything is where it should be. Uh, and you can, you can see out the windows while you're eating and see people walk by, which is kind of cool. Uh, but definitely check those two out if you like. Italian food. Moving right along. Okay, so my next one is called Global Grill. It's kind of like a tapas bar. Um, it's right on Palafox Street. When you're walking down it, you'll see it right there. This is this is one of my real top picks. I know all of them are gonna be my top picks, but this one is great. Samantha loves this place. I mean, you can get literally a tuna piece, a little piece of tuna on like a popsicle stick. At least you could before, before COVID. But, they literally, I think it comes on a, a toothpick and you just, a piece of tuna. I mean, that, that's pretty aristocratic for me, okay? I really enjoy it. I mean, it's a great menu and uh, I don't really have any B-roll from it because COVID, I think, kind of shut down and they did some renovations and and uh, we haven't been there really since, you know, all the commotion. So I wasn't able to get any B-roll, but these are the pictures that I was able to gather so you know exactly where I'm talking about. Everybody loves Google Grill and Pensacola, everybody downtown, and if they don't like it, then I don't, then I question their honesty, okay? <laughs> so, so that's the next one uh, that I, you know, I wanted to put out there. 
Global Grill, great place. If you're going down there for gallery night and everybody's in the streets and you want to go in for a nice little, you know, tapas or, you know, some little finger food, great choice. All right, so we're coming into the really good ones, the ones that top my list, the ones that I really want to go see and try and feel and taste. This one will be Union Public House. Let me tell you, it's a true story. It took me like an, a year to get into this restaurant. I don't know why. Every time I went, they were packed. Well, I know why, because food's amazing, but uh, it's a small place and you usually got to have a reservation. It's right across, like you can almost see the Wahoo Stadium downtown from there. They like to call themselves a crafty pub, like a southern pub. I get it. It's pretty cool. You go in there, they got a nice bar, they got a big fancy happy hour, they have amazing food, and let me tell you, I think I paid $45 for a steak and some succotash. It was worth every penny, okay? <laughs> it was worth every penny. Uh, I've never had succotash that tastes that great. I mean, it was just on point. I think Samantha always gets the mussels. I guess mussels and bread. It's, a, it's, it's an appetizer. I mean, you're eating mussels like peanuts, okay? And they, they, they just taste amazing. You dip it in with a little bread in there and that sauce. And I could just eat just that because it's just that amazing. And um, that really is right, right up there on this list. I mean, if I, I mean, this one, this one is it's that good. You just got to check it out right downtown. All right. So we're making our way down the list. And this one, this one is probably one of my favorites for the ambiance of, of being downtown. It's the uh, District Seville Steakhouse. It's uh, right downtown. I mean, right, right downtown by the Seville Quarter, okay? Um, we were there last night. I was reconnaissance in this video. I was doing a little taste testing. We really enjoy it. The servers are right on point. They can actually recite the menu and everything on it. Um, they have, uh, you, you know, a great bar and if you get there early they have a piano room upstairs which also serves food not a full menu but it's a it's a great ambiance they usually have a jazz player or a great piano player playing which uh which is which is amazing and uh they have a you know a lot of fine wine events there too um so if you're if you're downtown you're cruising around uh, it's you know it's Christmas time. The lights are downtown. Everybody's you know um, really you know having a great time. You say hey, let's go get something really nice in a quiet environment. That's the district. The ambiance is on point. All right, so this brings out number one for me. Okay, when it comes to the food category, the iron is amazing. We went there uh, last week and I got the most amazing dish. I got to sit right at the bar. She made me my drink right there. Um, you know, there's nothing better when they light the wood on fire and you get that smoke aura into your glass and, and, and you get a nice drink. To go out and, and, and when you spend the amount of money it, for a dinner like at the iron, you want perfect everything, and uh, I, I was, it was, everything was right on point. It was worth every penny because, you know, I was always told that, you know, one thing you spend your money on is, buy, is food, and the, when you have a steak or a scallop or whatever cooked perfectly, everything in there is, is professional and well done, and there's no attitudes, everything is just, a perfect environment you do not mind paying a hundred or two hundred dollars for a dinner at least I don't and I didn't grow up that way now I I can and I have thoroughly enjoyed every time I've went there you, you get a menu that's a little different the menu is not big it is this is what we're cooking you know you get a you got a few choices but it's amazing and uh, you can even see the kitchen back there and, and watch them cook and I, I thoroughly enjoy sitting at the bar, ordering my food, talking to the bartender, having a professional drink, made the food. If I was going to pick uh, the top three, I don't know if I could do it food-wise. Uh, between that one, Benelli's, uh, Union Public House, they're all real close. They're just different categories. It, it, it's truly a great place and you need to try it. All right, so that's the end of my top picks for fine dining downtown. I wanted to make this video because I don't think anybody's made it. 
And if you're moving to Pensacola or you've lived in Pensacola a long time or you're just passing through, you know, here's the starting point of some great places to try that won't disappoint you. And if you happen to be looking for a piece of property or trying to sell a piece of property in a Pensacola panhandle all the way down to Fort Walton Beach, Panama City, shoot me an email. Just shoot me an email down below and uh, maybe I can help you with that. It's a, it's a great place to live. We've thoroughly enjoyed our time being here and after moving back here years ago. I know that it's truly a great place. So I'll see you guys later. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video. Who knows what it might be? It might be something great. It might be something wild. It could even be something not so wild. But I'll see you later.